Hey everyone, so we wanted to make another video uh, in reference to a couple different things. So first off, if you happen to come across a game that is a four player game, and let's just say it's in a two player mode or something like that, if you happen to have a keyboard you can plug in, then all you have to do is hit the tab button and you can actually access some of the options um, on the main ROMs. By doing this, when you hit tab, you'll see on here you have input general, input this game, dip switches, and then some other uh, options which you really don't need to worry about. But the main ones would be the first three. So if you go to dip switches, on dip switches, this gives you a lot of different options for the main ROMs. So you can choose how many coins and credits, um, you know, different things. This one specifically shows the buy-in price, regain power price, things like that that you can actually change. But also, a majority of these games do allow you to choose the number of players for that uh, ROM or that game. So, for instance, this one is set to 4. If it is set to 2 and you move it to 4, then all you have to do is move it over, go down to return to prior menu, go down to return to game, and you can exit out of the game, then relaunch it, and it will load up all four players. That does work on about 95% of the four player games. Now, um, almost all of them should be set to four players, but you may come across a few um, that aren't set to that. Now, another thing as well is if you need to change a button layout on specifically the main games, then if you hit that tab button and go to input this game, this actually has all of the assignments for that specific game uh, in MAME. So you can actually change any of these that you would like to. So let's just say, for instance, you want to change the button 2. Then all you have to do is hit your enter button on your keyboard. When you see this come up, you would hit the button that you want for it to pick up. Uh, as that button, as you can tell, it just switched that. You can do that on all the players on any of the games, whether it be a two-player game, three-player game, four-player game, etc. So other than that, you would just go to return to prior menu, you also have Input General. Um, input General has a lot of different controls because this does cover every single game that is running on that main emulator. So it's easier to go into the individual game, but as you can tell, this has tons and tons of uh, different assignments, buttons, things like that. So I would recommend to do it solely for each specific game. Um, as opposed to going into the general, but you can go into the general one as well. So once you do that and you've reassigned whatever you want to, just go to return to prior menu, return to game, and you're pretty much good to go. So if anybody has any questions or anything, let us know.